Are you looking for a shotgun microphone just to focus on your voice and block off all the background sound on a budget? If so, please stay tuned to see if this particular mic will do the job. Hello everyone, welcome to ProTech Station. It's great to see you all. Today I am excited and curious to share to you all about this product that I got from Amazon. According to the description of the box, it is a super unidirectional condenser microphone. The reason that I am sharing to you all for this microphone is because normally when I record my videos, I use this, this solid lavalier microphone to do most of my recordings. These lavalier microphones are really good picking up voices, but it is also good for picking up background sound as well. I will be planning to shoot more of my videos during daytime, but the problem for me during daytime is I have a lot of background sound coming from my house during the daytime. For example, my family will be watching TV, running around, screaming, playing, and it creates a lot of background sound, which this microphone will pick up. After doing a little research and searching on Amazon, I figured the type of microphone that I need is actually a shotgun microphone and the main purpose of a shotgun microphone is to purposely focus on a single point of sound so for example if i want the sound to be focused on my voice i will point a shotgun microphone near my mouth or near the sound source that i want to be recorded it will mainly record and focus mostly of the sound that i set towards that direction and it's supposed to filter most of the background sound and the problem with these shotgun microphone, it can range from 20 bucks to thousands of dollars. And once again, I do not want to spend a fortune on microphones. Just want to find something to get the job done on a budget. And after many clicks and searches, I came upon this item. And today I will do a little unboxing and also record some sound quality for you guys to compare to see does this microphone record good sound quality and also blocks off all the background sound. And the most important part, will I be keeping this item for myself to use? By the way, these solid lavalier microphone and this shotgun microphone, I will have links on the bottom description. If you are curious or interested or would like to learn more about the product, please feel free to check them out. So here you go, this is the packaging and the introduction of my video, I really did not emphasize what brand is this uh, item because it really doesn't really emphasize the brand itself. It's a little confusing because on the box, the label, it says super unidirectional condenser microphone. I don't know if that's the brand or something, but on Amazon, the listing title of this microphone is called best shoot condenser interview um, blah 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 microphone. And I guess the best way to locate the microphone is by using the keyword best shoot condenser interview microphone, which you guys don't have to worry about that because I have the link on the bottom of the description below. That way you can accurately locate this item. Without further ado, let's do a little unboxing and also some sample recordings for you guys to hear the sound quality for this microphone. So it comes with this kind of fancy looking box and here you go, this is the actual microphone. So at first glance, it feels pretty sturdy, pretty solid microphone. And it comes with this spongy microphone cover. And here's the cable that comes with the microphone. It's a pretty long cable as far as I remember. It's around like 20, 28 feet or something like that. Real, which is really nice and long. It comes with some instruction manuals. It comes with adapters. So the tip for this uh, connector is TRS connector. These are the different types of holders. And here's the manual products made in China. And here is the manual and the specification of the microphone. 
Okay, now is the best part is to test out the sound quality of this microphone. The microphone, um, this is how you uh, open and um, it takes double A battery. It uses a single double A battery, which batteries are not included. Now here comes the fun part is to test out the sound quality of this microphone. So this microphone has two settings. One is the tele setting, which is the shotgun microphone. So the recording will be focused on one directional instead of multi-directional. And second, it has a normal mode, which is like a condenser mode. Condenser mode versus shotgun mode. Shotgun mode focus one direction. Normally condenser mode, if you're recording with no background sound, it should sound a little bit better. But if you have a lot of background sound and you want to filter the background sound, use shotgun mode. And the way how I plan to conduct the test for this review, first I'll do a record sample of the shotgun microphone to let you hear the sound quality. Then I will record it on condenser mode to let you hear are there differences between shotgun mode and condenser mode in terms of sound quality. And third, I will play some background sound and use the shotgun microphone setting while recording to let you hear will it pick up the background sound. And I also will do a sample on the condenser microphone and a sample of my lavalier microphone. So you can compare the two settings of this microphone and also the comparison of my lavalier microphone to let you hear are there differences. Okay, now I just plugged it in and I turn on the shotgun microphone. Right now it's on the shotgun microphone and I'm recording about six inches away from my mouth doing a microphone testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I will switch from shotgun microphone to condenser mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I switched it back to shotgun microphone. And this time while I'm recording, I'm also playing a little background sound in the background. It's not too loud, but it's not too soft. I'm trying to mimic a scenario of a background sound to see if it will pick up the background sound. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you can hear the background sound or if you cannot hear any background sound. And now I'm switching from shotgun microphone to condenser microphone to see if you can hear the background sound. This is the condenser microphone setting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And at last, I will also switch back to my solid lavalier microphones to let you see and hear uh, are there differences and does it pick up the background sound from using the lavalier microphones. Okay, now I'm back to the solid uh, lavalier microphones as you can hear. So um, listen carefully. Can you hear the background sound? Listen carefully. I hope you can hear it and pick up the background sound. Anyways, uh, I also do a, t a microphone testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please stay tuned for the feedback of the pros and cons of this microphone in a little bit. Meanwhile, if you like the video, please feel free to leave a comment below and hit the like button if you like the video, which helps and support the channel big time. Also, please hit the subscribe button and bell notification if you wanted to stay tuned for any future videos.
And last, if you like the video, please also feel free to share this video to families and friends, which I am very greatly appreciate for spreading the word out. Now for the pros and cons of this microphone, let's start with the pros first. The first pro of this microphone will be excellent value for the price. The second pros of this microphone, it really does block off background sound. And another pros for this microphone is the sound quality. Another pros for this microphone is the build quality is not bad for the price. And the final pros of this microphone, it comes with a very long cable, which is very convenient. After all the pros of this microphone, it's time for the cons of this microphone. The first cons of this microphone, the normal recording volume seems a little bit softer. So to boost the recording sound quality, try to boost it in pulse. If pulse doesn't work, you might need a preamp to boost the sound level of this microphone. Another cons of this microphone, it uses battery to give you a little preamp for uh, the recording. But the problem is it doesn't have any battery indicator. So I don't know if it's on, off, does it have battery or whatsoever. And it's a really big drawback. So the best way to do is, so based on the manufacturer, if you put a fresh battery in there, it should last around 26 hours of recording. So you have to kind of keep track of how many hours of recording. Please check the microphone to see if it works before you record. This is one big drawback. So another cons of this microphone is it's pretty long. It's around 14 inches long. If you take this around with you, it's pretty clumsy. So it's not the best portability in terms of its size. And the final cons of this microphone because it has two modes. And what I noticed is the shotgun mode and the condenser mode sounds pretty similar. It doesn't have a huge difference in terms of sound quality. And now the most important question of this microphone is, will I be keeping this microphone for my personal use? And the answer is yes. Even though it's not the perfect microphone, the features, the sound quality, and the total package fits well for my criteria. So I will be keeping this microphone for my personal use. If you like the video, please feel free to share the videos to families and friends, which I very greatly appreciate. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links will be on the bottom description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Are you looking for a... Are you looking for a shotgun microphone to block off all the mic- oh. Are you looking for a shotgun microphone to focus just on your voice and block off all the background sound? Cut. Oh, come on.